this is a very, very special place. But it is especially important because it is one of the first schools of music in the country, training and educating wonderful, wonderful musicians over a very long time, 125 years. That's older than the Chicago Symphony Orchestra. So that's really, really a special place. So I congratulate you for a great school. So I'd like to introduce the Judson and Joyce Green creative consultant of the Chicago Symphony Orchestra, the world's greatest cellist, and a great friend to the whole world, Yo-Yo Ma. Imagination and empathy are two things that, um, that the arts can really empower society. It's not about how well you play the cello. It's not about how well you paint something. It's about what you can use your every ounce in, your, in yourselves to identify something and to do it so well and imagine it so that it lives in somebody else's mind in someone's head, because then it's a very deep kind of communication. And that's hard to measure, hence it's always hard to talk about, but we all know this exists. We all know that we have an inner life that we use and that sometimes it's shared, sometimes it's not. And I'm saying that for, for, for our society, if we develop a societal inner life that we can share in common, you know, we can do anything. It's not the sounds that are important. Yes, it's what we what what strikes us. It's what moves the air molecules that strikes our eardrums. But it's it's what is behind those sounds. It's the values behind those sounds that actually are incredibly important. Because what we're all looking for ultimately in life is meaning. You want to make your life meaningful. You want it to count for something. So at the end of your life, you don't say to yourself. Oh, it was a waste. You say, boy, I really did my best. I spent a couple of hours with wonderful, wonderful students and, and faculty members at DePauw, and, uh, and I, I just have to say, they are fun, engaging, flexible, all the wonderful things you would want and wish musicians to have. The first thing that I notice about colleges is, is there's always an energy there. You know, I think there are very few schools that, that don't have a kind of, you know, there's something that's going on. And what I first notice about DePauw is, first of all, it's a beautiful campus. And, and the next thing I notice is that you have the Greek system, you have the fraternities, you have the sororities, <laughs> that, that I know that is very much part of, of campus, campus life. I think coming to the Green Center is, amazing. It's such a beautiful space. There are very few, uh, because I spent a lot of time here today, I can report that there are very few places, music schools, that have 
this, these kinds of facilities uh, to work in. And I, I do think space uh, does make a difference in your, in your mood, in your work. Uh, it just, this leads me to believe that, and I think I've met enough DuPont students to know that they really care about this school. And so that's, so school loyalty is, I think, I think, uh, I feel that. I feel that from the people that I met. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, the Greens. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you, President Casey. Good night, Charlie Brody. Go to bed, and all of you, thank you very much. We appreciate it. It's a great, great evening. We'll be continued tomorrow, okay? Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. Truly, I had the most amazing 48 hours on campus uh, with my friends here on stage, uh, members of the Civic Orchestra, and with um, students that I met at DePaul who were so lovely.